I just got the crazy opportunity to go to Spain with Tom Holland and fly my aircraft at his new movie premiere for Uncharted. You might know Tom as Spider-Man. I recently flew in the new Spider-Man movie with him. We've been discussing the idea for months, but I just got an email that it's happening now in seven days. And to make things even worse, I'm gonna have to hire four people to build a brand new sky surfer that can fold down and carry on a plane with me. This is just about impossible. If anything goes wrong, we're not gonna make it. I've been inside this room the past four days working on the aircraft. Everything folds and breaks down now so that it can be modular and fit inside this box, which looks a lot bigger online. I need all of the Every fragile stickers. Four days of work. I'm headed to Spain with Tom Holland and the world's smallest aircraft now fits inside a box. Well, I thought I was headed to Spain. No. Turns out my friend and I went all the way to the airport. The airline didn't know the correct Spain entry requirements. Costs are adding up like crazy. The TV show that Tom Holland and I are supposed to be on immediately paid $2,500 to switch us to a new flight. But minutes later, this happened. My friend bailed. I paid $2,000 out of my own pocket and pay for his ticket. It's going to be impossible to make this happen without any extra help. And all I can think about is... I just want to get home and stop recording this. The next morning at 6 a.m., I went all the way back to the airport and... Well, I'm back! After two failed attempts, they are my bags. This last time, they wanted to put me on standby, and I cannot do that. The bags could have potentially gone to Spain overnight without me. We are now 48 hours away from when I was supposed to depart. We had Monday set for like a setup day, now we don't. I'm pretty much going to have to show up get there and start building and setting up in the same day. With no extra time, luckily the third attempt was successful. Let's keep on this trip. We've got to see if I can get to Spain and not destroy the aircraft. Future Hunter here. I just showed these guys the video. He just ran into problem after problem. He got completely ripped off. Watch till the end because it gets worse. Guys, I get taken advantage of in the end of it by this TV show, so please subscribe. Click that button. It's crazy. I've got a connecting flight in London. The bags are being transported from that plane to another. Last time I did that, they lost my bags. You have to manage the risk versus reward. If an event doesn't want to pay anything, why would I take the risk to put the board in a situation where it could get lost or damaged. 16 hours later, I was greeted in Spain by customs officials saying everything I own is now theirs to keep. We got a new problem, so now I'm at customs and they're not wanting to let me through. They saw the black Pelican cases and think it's too valuable. It's 10 p.m. and nobody here speaks any English, so the TV station rushed in to help out. After a lot of arguing and debating, we're gonna have to give them some, uh, some cash. To let me into Spain, they're requiring a lot of money. Supposedly, they're gonna return that as soon as I head home to the United States. We paid them off, then ran straight to the studio to get to work setting up the aircraft. By the time we got there, it was 12 a.m., which means the show is today and nothing is ready. So we just arrived to the studio. We're here working on this thing. Everybody else is left to go home, and it is like 12 o'clock right now, but we're still getting ready to try and put this thing together. But here's what I found out about the show. It's live, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Show is <laughs> it's a live show. So if anything goes wrong, well, nothing can. So we gotta be ready for the rehearsal, which is super early. So I wanna get a test flight in tonight. For the next three hours, we put most of the bolts in and then decided, and we're finished. I'm scared to see what time it is. We're ready to get out of here, but we're gonna do an official test. I'm gonna do a couple of little flights to calibrate it. Before taking off, I always look up to make sure there's nothing there that I can fly into. Once I finally did, the wind started shaking the entire room. This is a brand new aircraft that's never been flown before, so I am shocked that it only had a few minor issues to fix. We packed up everything into a charging station and rushed home to get some sleep because rehearsals in six hours. When I came back, fans were packed tight outside the gate. First thing I wanted to do was inspect the flight area. Federal regulation in Spain says we can't be outside, so we put a net over this entire outdoor space to make it technically indoors. I had them clean off the ground and set up a thick glass for Tom Holland. Otherwise, all the rocks flying around would definitely blind him. We started setting up and things were going great for about an hour. One of the workers destroyed a battery by pulling too hard on the cables while they were unplugging it. Luckily, we have one spare, but it's now time for the rehearsal where we seriously can't have anything else go wrong. They're wiring a lot of equipment on me, so I'm trying to make sure they know if any of this live broadcast gear falls off into my propellers while I'm flying, their video isn't the only thing going down. Nobody speaks English, so while I'm on the show, I have a live translator talking in my ear. Somebody's eating chips in my own ear right now. You'll notice that Tom Holland and I look really confused because in our other ear, we're listening to them translate everything we say from English to Spanish. It's such a nightmare. This will be a pesadilla, but the truth is... 
I'm seeing a bunch of thumbs up, so I'm gonna have to assume that means I'm clear for rehearsal. Since they didn't do well removing all of the dirt and rocks earlier, I couldn't take off right away. Right now, it's somehow getting into my helmet and making it so I can't see anything. This is a significant cost I'm always hit with as I blend up everything and destroy my custom carbon fiber propellers. Once landing, they ask me to fly higher and essentially assume more risk, which is a little disturbing to watch over now knowing that they have bad intentions planned for me after the show. First official flight in Spain was successful. We're gonna be live in one hour, so I'm gonna have to race as fast as I can to get everything recharged, reset, and ready to go. Finally, it's showtime. Tom Holland and I are about to walk out on set in front of the live audience, and I must have bad luck because I accidentally just switched my camera to record everything in time lapse. So for that, and since my videographer bailed, please hit like on this video for the weird quality. Tom Holland! El Sky Surfer! We both went down the red carpet. I made it outside first and waited for Tom Holland to come around. Oh my goodness! How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, all of those translations right there are exactly what I was listening to while we were trying to have these conversations. Tom Holland grabbed my shoulders and pulled me aside to say, I've got some great news, new Spider-Man. Spider-Man's got me covered. That's when I knew it's time to fly. crowd and everybody on the street was cheering like crazy. We completely stopped traffic and this was by far one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. After a complete success, I found out the show's not going to pay out their part of the contract. They were misleading me the entire time, which makes these extremely hard to do because there's no profit. I argued most of the next day with them while I was left to pack up the Sky Surfer alone. It's been a couple months and they still owe some of it, so while that's pretty upsetting, this was an incredible experience. I have no regrets and cannot wait for you to see where Tom Holland and I end up next. Subscribe for the journey.